it is picking up a storm outside. Bon Sarah, and good evening everybody, it's Mammon Plan here. Hanging out today, back on the long dark. Welcome back everybody, I hope you're doing well, I'm doing pretty good myself. It's an amazing day, it's amazing times in the world of the long dark. Progress has been made, we have ourselves. Our, oh, 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 our amazing, oh, 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 if I can get it, our amazing gun. Our amazing gun, it's super beautiful, it's super amazing, got a little bit of a shaky hand now though because we're not in the greatest of states at the end of the last episode we uh, went back in time to try and find the phone call and we never managed to do it we never managed to get the phone call it was a real real shame and i'm really disappointed about it i feel like i've missed out on something super super important in the game but nevertheless we're back at the little uh, workshop place where the machining tool was to repair the um the trackers or the other hunter do oh i see you wolf oh i see you you freaking stay out there little buddy uh, the, what was his name, the trapper, or the tracker, or, yeah, the other dude's rifle, we fixed his, and then we had to go and find our own, which is strange, we couldn't use his one, these wolves are after me because I smell, uh, from the other wolf that we managed to take down, which was amazing, but we are in a bit of an issue, we're not doing fantastic on our condition, our lower left there doesn't look great, we're also, uh, very, very tired, but thankfully at that thought, this day is just coming to an end, so, um, I need to do a little bit of reassessment as to what is going on. Now I've had a look through the inventory, um, I've actually picked up these again because I need some fuel in a moment so I'm gonna burn those, but we are heavy, we're like four or five kilo too heavy once I drop those fuel things, um, and it's all tools. We have so many different tools at the moment and they all have a purpose so I want to keep all of them, but the problem is we can't, we can't carry all of this stuff, we just can't. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt for us. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, but we do have a long journey ahead of us so it could be a bit of an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into here and use this campfire and get this guy started. I'm going to use the matches as they're slightly heavier and drop some accelerant on there. Get this bad boy up and running nice and quick. Whoosh! There we go. Now we can drop the fire log on to make it burn and we can drop the coal on to give us the heat. Minutes before coal can be added. Oh, it needs to actually get to a certain heat before you can add coal. That's interesting. Um, we have loads of bits of food and stuff here that I can cook up. I'm not really needing it, but I will cook up all of our wolf meat and boil ourselves some more water and then get a good night's sleep with a full belly and fully heat hydrated and uh, hopefully we should be a little bit more fighting fit come the morning and we shall start our huge adventure returning to the trapper man and uh, hope he fully, he's still okay it has been a day or two or three I'm not sure um, ah, ah, that's better so I woke up in the middle of the night dying of thirst and I'm I hadn't have made myself some water, so I headed into there and broke down a crate, used that, cooked it up. So we are carrying a little bit of firewood now, which is good. So, excellent stuff. The day is just arising. We are still super, super heavy, but I don't want to drop any of these, um, any of these things. Now, that was the hunting lodge that we had been to. I haven't explored anywhere else around this region, and I am kind of tempted to just take an episode and, like, explore this area, because we have another area over here to go through. Um, and I'm wondering if there could be anything interesting around here. But on the other hand, I am really wanting to progress through. And once we get to the stage where we're in the survival mode, we will have all the time to explore all the different areas of the map. But this one, we're in the story mode, so I want to work mostly on uh, pushing through to try and get into um, the newer things. Now, we are really, really heavy. Uh, so we're not going to be able to travel far. We're not going to be able to run far. This is a super huge way we need to travel. Um, and we're going to have a really hard time with it. It's very, very cold. So I'm going to be burning calories. I'm over way, way too heavy. So I'm going to be burning through a lot of unnecessary energy as well. Um, this could be a really hard time. This could be a really hard time. We may have to drop something. We may have to surrender one of our valuable tools to the wilderness to be able to um, actually make this journey without dying. Although I am carrying some firewood, so we can take a couple of rest stops along our way. I've got some cooked wolf meat. I've got a little bit of water. We've got our amazing gun. We need to be equipping at least our flare dude so that it's ready to go when we need to. Is it loaded? It is indeed loaded and ready to go. All right, so let the intensely hard journey commence. I am so heavy, I'm not even going to loot anything. I really just can't do it. I actually can't do it. Which is a shame, because we may be missing out on some stuff. But we have to follow the railroads heading this way. And that is the mission of which is set before us. 
really want to explore the rest of the area, but uh, let's just double check that I am doing the right thing here. You fix my rifle, get back to Jeremiah. Yeah, that's what we need to do. Alright, beautiful. We're making pretty good time here, actually. We are making pretty good time. It's still early morning. Um, I'm burning a lot of calories because I'm trying to run as much as I possibly can to try and make this move a bit faster. But that's fine. We have plenty of food with us. That shouldn't be a huge problem at all. But we've already managed to make it to the first little uh, tunnel here. So I feel a little bit more confident about this. I'm... The itch to explore and loot is driving me insane, but I must remain focused. I must press onwards on my task at hand. Alright, back in the forlorn muskeg region. This is the super huge open place with the railway running right through it that we've got to follow um, and all of the thin ice that we have to be really, really careful about. Now this area really intrigues me because it's such a giant space. There could be loads of interesting things to look out, uh, to loot and check out around here. But um, as I mentioned, remaining focused, pushing on. Um, that is a bear. That is definitely a bear. Oh, he's after me. Oh, good lord, no. Uh, I, does a flare gun scare off a bear? I'm completely out of stamina. I feel like a flare gun will not scare off a bear. How's our aim? Pretty good. Okay, let's keep away from him. Let's keep away from him. Can we reload another round? We can indeed. We may get to find out how well this thing fires. Look at you. You're huge. I'm not, e I'm not even going to consider it. I'm not even going to Every part of me wants to try and take him down. Every part of me wants to try and take him down. We actually have a pretty good aim on us. If we could get far enough away, what do you think? I know you guys are screaming, shoot the bear, shoot the bear. I know you're screaming it as loud as you can. Right in the butt. Oh, our aim's actually a little bit wonky now. Ooh, I'm not sure. It's because we're hungry and we're tired. Let's get over here. Have ourselves some of our food. And uh, maybe make a save as well. That sounds like a very good idea. Should we do that? I think that's a fantastic idea. Okay, good. Game is saved. Eating some food. Num num num. Enjoying our last meal. I have a feeling that this bear is going to eat our face. Have ourselves some water. Okay, very, very nice. Very, very nice. How's our aim now? A little bit better. Alright, bear. You want to go? Oh, I see you. I see you, bear buddy. That was a miss. Okay, fair enough. Oh, that was a hit. That was a hit right in the nose. Oh, he's running. But I feel like he's going to come back and run at us. Wait for it. He, he, once he calms down, he's going to be coming straight for us. He's coming right for us! Where are you going, bear? Where are you going? You hiding behind a tree, Yogi Bear? The hunter has become the hunted. Oh, 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 we actually have quite a lot of sensitivity in aiming. Oh, I see you, bear. I see you. Come on, buddy. Straighten up that aim. Let's take your time. Hunting the bear. Oh, the wind. Oh, my God. A storm's going to be hitting us. We've got a little bit of stamina left. Chase down the bear. I can't believe the bear's running after one round. That was pretty much a shot right in the head, though. That was that really was, like, square in the nose. I can't keep up with him. I'm too heavy. This is good, though. We know that a shotgun... Uh, uh, one shot to the bear... Sorry there, everybody. That was in my phone. We do now know that one shot to the bear, and he will run for days and days and days and days. In no particular direction, just running around completely erratically all over the map. I don't know if he's trying to figure out what shot him, or if he's just in a blind state of panic going, Ow, my nose. Ow, 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 my nose, my nose. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we've got to watch out for thin ice here. I feel like he's going to be running around, and then he's just going to be like, straight on us. He 
he is out of here. He is clean out of here. Nice, nice. Well, that saves the worry because he was coming towards us a couple of times. So that saves the worry of him uh, stalking us and trying to run at us a little bit later. I wonder what's up there. Frozen River leading towards a peak and there's a radio tower up there too. Oh, there's be so many good things to loot right now. Oh, okay, we're getting cold. We are getting very, very cold. Thankfully, this train car is up ahead. This would be a good spot for us to stop, get ourselves a little fire. Consider stopping for a bit of rest, actually, too, because we are very tired already. I don't know if I'm carrying coffee, but we've been running and carrying too much. But we're about halfway. We're about halfway across this huge region, so that's great. Ooh, okay, right. Managed to get it to the train car. Definitely time to take a little bit of a pit stop. Sounds like a very good idea. I keep thinking that bear's going to come running up behind me, but I think we're okay. I think we gave him a good spook, and he's not going to bother us. I'm hoping that we can um, get in here. What's this? Bit of cloth? I'm hoping we can get inside here somewhere and take some shelter. Aha! Perfect. A stick. A piece of coal. Poacher's camp. Oh, man. Oh, there's loads of things here. There's stone, there's some wood, there's some met iron there. This is a fire barrel? Oh, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get this on. I'm quite happily using all the accelerants at the moment because I'm not really too worried about them. Get that last piece of reclaimed wood in the go here. We've got some more lying around. Excellent, excellent finds. Some newspaper, no thank you. More reclaimed woods. Get all of that burning. There we are. Another bedroll, so I didn't actually need to be carrying the one that I've got. We may as well. There's a bit of looting. A zap bar, some tomato juice, some cloth. Why not? I'm heavy enough as it is. What's the backpack got? Anything super useful and amazing? Some ragged jeans. No thank you. A decent hoodie? Eh, no thank you. A flare shell? I will take. I will definitely take a flare shell. Oh, okay. Cool. I feel like I'm going to be safe here, so I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a nap and let him take a minute. Um, camp craft would it be? And the bedroll? Here we go. Let's just put this down around about here. Excellent. I'm going to take myself a little power nap for a couple of hours. Get my strength back. Ah, excellent. Okay, so a couple of hours sleep actually turned into around about six hours sleep for us to actually be able to be uh, totally rehydrated. Uh, rehydrated again? Totally refreshed again. And uh, yeah, we're actually out of water, which I'm surprised at. I thought there was some more water around here, but apparently not, and I have no more fuel because I burned it all without checking to see that I actually had enough. Great. Thankfully there are a few sticks out here, so let's just go and grab a couple of these dudes and uh, relight that fire. Your heart is my only desire. Just to melt ourselves some snow so we can rehydrate ourselves here. It's um very, very foggy out. Very, 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 very foggy out, which uh, kind of makes me a little bit worried. Uh, yeah, why not? We'll use another accelerant. Ain't nobody messing around. I've been carrying these things for Looks ages. Like I've not really been using them at all. Get all of that going. Let's get ourselves some water melted. Hopefully we'll have enough fuel in here to boil it. Which I feel like we might not. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Da, 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 da. Oh, just, just enough. All right, excellent. So a little bit of hydration for us. Num, 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 num. Much better. Much, much better. How are we doing for our food? Yeah, we're okay. We could probably eat. And that will actually probably make me a little bit lighter as well. So uh, let's have that. Mm, I don't know. We're going to have it. Okay, we're good. Excellent. And we'll eat this as well fill ourselves up. We're almost light enough not to be encumbered. Almost. But, um, nevertheless. The time is getting on. It's actually turning night, but we have to push on. So pushing on in the night we shall. Very, very brave. There's a good amount of coal around there as well. We need to keep that in mind in case we, uh, find out what the purpose of coal is. At the moment, I have absolutely no idea. We can use it in a fire, but we have to wait 25 minutes before we can put it in a fire. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what its purpose is of as of yet. 
Um, no, go back. I'm going to get my flare out. Because I can't see Wolfies very well, and it's getting dark. We must push on. Ah, and here we are. Back at the amazing Mystery Lake region. So, let's have a look here. Uh, navigation, open map. Alright, beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. So, we have just came in down at the very bottom. Hello. Forest Talker Supply Caches. Ooh. I don't recall seeing this guy. And there's a lookout there as well next to the derailment. I don't think we've actually visited those. Yep, surely enough, we've came in here, so we just have to head down the hill, back down to his home. I am keeping this with me. Hmm, there's a lot of crows over by this tree. Um, I've headed down a different direction, heading back over to him. And there's a lot of crows over here, and it doesn't look like there is a deer carcass here. So I'm wondering if it's a frozen body. Uh-oh. Hell no, Wolfie. Don't do it. I'm warning you. I told you. What did I tell you? But no, you didn't listen. You just came freaking running right at me, and it is indeed. It is a frozen body. Empty. Dang. Okay, let's push onwards. I believe this direction takes me uh, back towards... Make sure this thing is reloaded. In case Wolfie comes at us again, he's going to. Look at this guy. He super wants some. Get out of it, you. Next time I'll use the rifle. Ah, yes. There it is. Oh. Thank goodness. Let's reload this so that it's ready to go. And now let's change to our rifle. In case that wolf comes back again. I am so impressed we have so much ammunition for this thing. It's absolutely great. Ten rounds in total. And just as it starts to fall night, we've managed to return. Absolutely beautiful timing. And it took me a while to realise that this is actually the little home uh, that is in the title menu. It took me a while to realise that. But this is indeed the little house that's in the title menu. That wolf coming after me? Nah, he heard my warning. He heard my warning. Alright, let's get back in here. Uh, how do I get up here again? I keep forgetting. Ah, yes, it's over here. <laughs> let's get in here. We can drop our tools in the box outside and no longer shall we be insanely heavy. Hooray! Thank goodness. Now, what do we actually have in here? <laughs> Well, you look like hell, Mackenzie. Thanks. I love what you've done with the place. Ha! I see you're an interior design critic now. You fixed my rifle? Yep. Found one of my own, too. Damn, not bad for a pilot. You're full of surprises. Maybe you can make it after all. Now what? I really need to get going. My friend is out there, and with all this wildlife on the loose... Whoa. Slow down. A rifle will get you out of a jam, but survival's about what you know. And right now, you don't know shit. What do you suggest? Books on tape? Ha! <laughs> Smartass. <gasps> Books? No. What I suggest is Jeremiah's survival school. Student population, one. Let's see if we can keep you alive long enough to graduate. <laughs> Ooh, do you think he's actually going to be able to tell us what we can use the books for? Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Survival school, hunting, fishing, clothing. Let's go hunting. What can you teach me about hunting? Trick is to spot your target, get as close as you can, take a shot, and don't miss. Is that all? Pretty much. A few years of practice and you might have a clue. I don't have years. <laughs> There's a clearing a few hilltops over from here. I'll mark it on your map. Always a herd of deer that winter there. Hmm. 
Shoot one and bring the meat back here and we'll both know you can feed yourself in the wild. Okay, I'll bite. Remember, if you hit one, but don't kill it, you'll have to track it until it drops. Look for blood in the snow and follow the trail. It'll fall eventually, and then we both eat. Good luck. Are you ready? Oh, this is actually like little challenges for us to do. Alright. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Then good luck. Come back to me when you've bagged one. Oh, okay. Alright, excellent. Oh, 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 the lag. Oh, the lag while it saves is real. I'm very happy to see that it's not incredibly dark here at the moment today. Um, we still can't search or access any of this stuff. We can use this workbench, which is great. Uh, I do have a few things on me that need to go down onto the floor. Um, let's see, what were they? Uh-huh, it was the fresh wolf pelt. We need to put that down. And we've also got a couple of gut here that we need to be dropping as well so that can cure. I'm sure we will have to use these things for something at one point in time. But except for that, I imagine not. Oh, look. There's a little map of the area. A little map of the area. Now, he did say he'd marked an area for us on our map to go checking out the hunt. Aha, here we are. Is this it here? Survival school. It is indeed. All right, cool. Let's go for it. Let's freaking go for it, man. Why wouldn't we? I'm going to lighten myself off as much as I possibly can as well before we head out for this. Let's do it. All right, so we are... Uh, down here. So I want to be heading due north. I wish there was a compass in the game. That would really, really help you out. Um, yeah, due north, just over a load of hills and such towards a, a river. Um, let's see here. There is a large rock outcrop over here, which I believe would be the rocks that is just to this side of us, I believe. Or I could be looking at these two. Because there's two there, which would mean it'd be that way. Oh, it's really tricky to orientate yourself around in this world sometimes with the landmarks and that little map. Um, hmm. Well, I actually came from that direction when I was heading to... Oh man, the weather's going to be picking up soon here too. Oh no, this is like the worst time to be heading out and trying to, uh, why, why can't I? There we are. <laughs> so I'm looking at this region here. We've got the rock that the house is on, a rock there and a rock here. Uh, and a larger one there by the looks of it. Oh my god, the weather has turned so, so foul. So we've got that rock there, that rock there, and a larger one there, yeah. So I want to be, um... I wish it wouldn't keep jumping me back there. I want to be heading past that large rock northwards. So I want to be going this way. But this is not good weather to be heading out in. This is really bad times. We are going to freeze so, so fast. It's going to be insane. But we're going to do it. Although, wait, no, this is a really bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Really, really, really bad idea. We're going home. We're sleeping. We're resting. We're waiting out the storm. Ah, well, that was a pain in the butt. Huge, huge important point to make, everybody. Don't leave your bedroll behind. Remember that train car we found miles and miles and miles away? Yep, I left my bedroll there. <coughs> Pardon me. I left my bedroll there because I'm an idiot. Because I'm an idiot, that's why. So, instead of going all the way back there, I reloaded the save, uh, brought our bedroll home, and have had ourselves a tidy up. It is the wee hours of the morning, it is awfully dark, our uh, pelts and things are still on the floor here, and I've gone ahead and lightened my inventory as much as I possibly can. I am literally, well actually I'm quite hungry, I'm pretty thirsty after that sleep. I am literally carrying only the stuff which I feel I will be needing to go and hunt this deer. I've got my bullets, I've got some flares to scare away the wildlife, and a knife to skin it when I succeed. A little bit of food, a little bit of water, nothing too major. Um, we're going to have to go ahead and eat some of this and drink some of this before we make our way out the door. There is more outside in the little um, storage point. I'm probably going to need to pick up some more water before I leave. Yep. So thankfully we have a permafire here. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a bit more water for the way off. Yeah, another litre for us to carry with us will be completely fine. And then we're going to go and track down this deer. We've got to head northwards 
um, I believe. It's a little tricky to locate where we've got to go, but we should be able to figure it out without too much of a difficulty. Hopefully we're not going to be wandering around stranded in the wilderness, but we know just about what to do if we find ourselves there. The day is rising, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it, yeah. Kind of like over there by that lake is where we've got to go. Let's do it. <coughs> <coughs> Damn it. Ah, a lovely, foggy, misty morning for us. Absolutely beautiful. Let's have a look at what we've got stashed in here. I have a fair amount of stuff stashed in here, actually. I'm um, not going to worry about firewood. got a little bit of tindling, tindling, a little bit of kindling and tinder. Uh, let's see here, all of our stuff. I found the scarf, which I had um, left in here, which is really useful because our other hat broke. So that's awesome. Really pleased about that. We'll take a little bit of jerky with us for our journeys and maybe that as well. With the MRE, that should be plenty. We've got that. We've got some bandages. We've got some medical supplies. All right, let's get to it. So I was a little confused with this a little bit earlier um, as we need to head over there where that little exclamation point is and we're all the way down here. Now, you can see the Trappist Homestead is on a rock. There is two other rocks here and then this little mountain range mark. So I believe the mountain range mark is that one and the other two rocks are those two, I believe. So we'll want to be heading this way, I think. I think that's where we're going. So I'm going to head my way over there and uh, hopefully not get completely and utterly lost in the wilderness. But we're going to see what we're going to be able to do and uh, try and figure out whereabouts we got to go. But I will bring you guys back when I am finally located or if something terrible happens along the way. Why, right, hello. There seems to be a little cabin over here. This will be quite helpful. Maybe this will help us locate where we are. So I've headed over the big hill that was right ahead of us. I also discovered a rather interesting uh, thing that I didn't know. Um, if we use the D-pad, uh, if we press up, it brings up our lights. No other light sources. If we press the right button, it brings up my gun and then my firearm. Uh, sorry, then my flare gun. Uh, down is decoys. And the left one, what does that bring up again? Ah, oh, yeah, campcraft stuff. So that's pretty interesting. I did not know that that happened. I had no idea that that was the thing. Deadfall area. Okay, this is kind of useful for us because it will help us track if we're heading in the right location. Um, this little shack looks... Ooh, hello. There's a little wood stove here. That's cool. Excellent place for us to camp if we do find ourselves a little bit stuck out in the wilderness. Let's see where we are. Um, deadfall area. So we have headed completely the wrong direction, and I need to head between these two large rocks. That's literally where I just came from. Hmm. Hey, wabbits. How's it going, little bunnies? So yeah, another large rock to my right there, which I believe is correct. So we're here, I've gone through here, another large rock to my right. If I continue over the hills, that should take me directly to the lake. Excellent, excellent. I shall grab a few sticks along my path because I'm going to start getting cold and hungry. And as we break the crest of the hill, we find ourselves hopefully confronted by a lake I believe that is indeed a frozen lake. At least that's what I'm hoping. And there's a little hunter's lookout. And there's a deer. I see one just in the horizons. There's another deer. Alright, perfect stuff. So, we need to hunt down one of these guys and kill it. Now, he did say that if we don't kill it straight off, then we have to track the thing down as it slowly bleeds to death, which is... Lovely. Very, very nice. Let's check out the little uh, cabin thing in the hopes of finding some more ammunition there. It would be amazing. So, so try not to run around and attract too much attention. There's loads of these deers around and I don't want to spook them. Let's go ahead and put this guy away. We're pretty safe around here. Look at all the deer. Dang it, they've gone and got spooked. Okay, we're going to have to wait for them to calm down. What is that? A bandage. Okay, a little bandage in the car. Ah, hello, backpack. What you got for me? Some jeans, no thank you. A soda I'll take, though. 
All right. So. No, 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 no. We, we wanted the gun. Okay, seriously, stop. Stop, stop cycling your weapons. Okay, thank you. So we got one in the distance over there. That's a long shot. We might actually be able to pull that off. Ah, oh, flew straight past him. Ah. Oh, that was so close. Let's hit the reload. We're going to have to uh, wait a moment. I cannot reload. Did I not carry extra bullets? I'm carrying nine extra rounds. Why can I not reload you? There you go, buddy. It takes a while to reload, so I want to keep this gun stocked at all times. Let's head over there and see if we can get a bit closer to these dudes. Because he did say the main part of it is you've got to get real, real close. Real, real quiet. As close as we can get. Shoot and don't miss. I just took a potluck there. Still kind of getting an idea of where the sights are. Where the, where the hit marker is on this thing. But we'll nail one. We'll nail one. I feel like heading to high ground would be a good idea, because I don't want to spook these things as soon as I come over the crest of that hill. So let's work our way up. And also, we do get tracks, so we can see where the guys have ran. we got to be careful as well. Last thing we need is a wolfie jumping out at us. That would kind of put a bit of a spoil in our hunting efforts. Alright, there's a buddy there. Is there any others a bit closer? No, still between the trees. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. We crash down. Let's see how close we can get to this guy before we spook him. Slowly creep up on him. As we saw there, if one of them spooks, they'll all spook. Alright, he's just hanging out there eating his food. I'd rather shoot him in the head instead of the butt, but I'll shoot him where I can shoot him. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Try and get a little closer. Gun sight is wobbling around. Oh, he's going to see us. Okay, you stay there and eat your food. Don't worry about me at all. A couple of cabins over there we'll have a look at in a minute. Oh, let's go behind the tree. Let's go around this side. Close as we can. Oh, there we are. Hey there, buddy. Sorry. But meat is meat and a man's got to eat. You stop scratching the floor, raise your head up for me. There we go. Man, my gun is all over the shop all of a sudden. Damn it! Right over his head. <clears throat> um, hmm. Okay, let's have a look at our condition here. We are actually really quite hungry. That's probably... Whoopsie. That's probably why our hands are shaking all over the shop. So let's get some nourishment in us. Get ourselves some food. I don't really want to eat that MRE, but eh, I've got a few of them. Let's go fill our bellies. Re oh, we don't eat all of it. That's interesting as well. I didn't know that. Have ourselves our soda. Nice and rehydrated. Much better. So hopefully now... There we go. That's more like it. So it is. The hungrier you are and the more tired you are. I feel all has an effect. We're looking pretty good now, but now we've got to track these guys down again, which is a huge pain in the butt. There was one over there. He would have ran that way. Right, there's those two. Where's the other one? You over here? You are. You're over there. Dang it. So it's a very, very small radius you get until they start to run if you're walking. But if you're crouched, you have a lot better chance of sneaking up on them. So let's get behind these rocks here. This is the same one that we fired on earlier. Crouch ourselves down. Get our weapon ready. Scooch our way up here as much as we can. If he's heading towards us as well, we'll really help us out. Okay. I feel I can get a bit closer. I feel like this is about as close as I can get. Because he's literally looking right at me. How was that a miss? What's going on here? 
Dear Lord. We need to learn to shoot, man. We, we need to freaking learn to shoot. Good thing I decided to carry those extra rounds. If we run out of bullets, I'll be super peeved. All right, let's go for him again. All right. The other two spooked off again. But I feel like this is going to be the winner. How I have missed the last two shots, I am very much unsure. Let's get up next to the tree. Oh, save right there. Come on, buddy. Steady that hand, Mackenzie. Right over the top. Again, I really have not got this sight thing down. I really have not. Thankfully, they're split off into two groups, so I can kind of try a shot at one of them, head over to the other group, because they calm down by the time... Uh, I've made my way back over here after stalking the first. So I believe that literally where the site lands is actually on top of the site, center of the circular scope. So right there should be a shot on that branch. So we've, I've kind of been aiming so that it's just behind the site. Okay. Dang it. He heard me. That's a huge pain in the butt. One day we'll get a deer. One day. Hmm. Okay. While we give these guys a moment to calm down, let's have a little check out of what's inside this house. There's a little outhouse here, which is quite interesting. Do you think there's anything of any value in here? Can we even open it? We cannot. There is just a hole in the ground. I guess I'd rather not investigate that as if I can avoid it. Let's see if there's anything of interest in here. <clears throat> ah, I was actually really hoping that there would be a bed in here so we can have a little bit of rest um, and try and recuperate ourselves a little bit because again, when we start to get tired we'll also make our hands a little bit more unsteady uh, we're doing okay for daylight so I can quite happily take an hour's nap there just seems to be some tinder some breakable furniture, a bit of cloth, and so not really anything of super interest in here. Some more food and a little bit more of a accelerant though is going to be handy. So I'm going to give Will a little bit of a power nap uh, just for a couple of hours and see if that's going to improve our aim a bit. Ah, okay. Fully rested, fully rehydrated, ready to take on a deer. Now where have they gone? Aha! One body hanging out over there, another guy just down there. Let's loop our way around. Try and get ahead of him. Now you ought to be careful because running is going to tire me out really, really quickly. Oh, I see you through the trees there, buddy. Oh, I see you. I was actually after your friend, but... I wonder how close I can actually get to you while stalking like this. If I walk about this way, a bit of an intercept path. Let's see how close we can sneak up on these critters. Pretty dang close. Finally! Oh, finally I nailed one. Yes, we did it! We've succeeded! Four bullets later, we took down a deer. Oh, man. That was really tough. So, yes, the aim of the sight is literally right above the center notch. Right above the center site is where we actually aim in general, but the trick is getting close enough. That's the real trick. Let's skin this guy up. Uh, we'll take all eight and a half kilogram of meat. Holy crap, doodle. Let's take all of it. Absolutely all of it. We're wasting none of this creature. Let's go. Found 
fantastic. Absolutely amazing. It's already 34% frozen. That's insane. That's absolutely insane just from uh, that little guy. How are we doing for our weight? I'm wondering if we should take down another just to store. Nah, we're pretty heavy. I think we'll call it there for the day. We've had ourselves a successful hunt. That is amazing. It's all about getting close and knowing where your sight was. And, of course, being well rested, having good condition, not being hungry, not being tired. Makes a massive, massive difference. We, we have been in this one. Really? I must have searched this at another point. Now I just need to find my way home. That's all I need to do now is somehow manage to find my way back. Oh, thank goodness. I was literally just coming up the crest of that hill thinking, I'm completely lost. I have absolutely no idea where I am. It's very, very easy to get yourself turned around in this game. Very, very easy. Although I do like it, you have to pay attention to where you are, um, where you approach landmarks. You need to kind of remember the direction, or at least be able to track down your footprints again. Um, because I got myself completely confused later. As it turned out, straight over that hill was the direction I wanted to go. I kind of walked around that rock and made it a little bit difficult on my way there. But alas, we have managed to return just as the sun is starting to go down. We have returned with our bounty and proven ourselves as a kind of capable hunter. Not the best shot in the world, but we're learning. We're getting it, people. We're getting it. Let's go and see what this dude has to say. Hey, buddy, I did it. I did it. Trust? Something on your mind. Ah, of course, we've got to get trust for this guy. Fresh deer hide or cured deer hide. Fresh rabbit pelt or cured deer pelt. Ooh, he, he likes deer hide. Well, I ha happen to have one that I have just nailed. Check that out. There you go, buddy. Good 50 for that. You like that, don't you? Very, very nice. Okay. Alright, beautiful stuff. So, flares? There seem to be a lot of wolves around Mystery Lake. Yeah, even more than usual. Do you have any suggestions on how I should deal with them? Uh, apart from staying far away or shooting them if they get too close. I know a place where you might be able to find some old flares. They don't seem to like the noise throwing at them and they're likely to run, thanks. Alright, very nice. Mystery Lake. Can you tell me more about this area? What do you want to know? Seems like the more I know about the area, the better chances I have of surviving. If you think you're, a lesson on local history is going to help you out here, fill your boots, as the islanders like to say. So if we didn't... We didn't get anything for completing the... But... But what about the... Story? Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. Survival takes focus. We'll continue when you're done with your current lesson. But... But I did my current lesson. I, I shot a deer. I've got this far without you, Trapper. Not in a blood-hungry bear on your ass, you haven't. Trust me, Mackenzie. You really want to find your friend? There's miles of wilderness in all directions from here. You'll never make it. I'm listening. I'll teach you what you need to know. And then... You'll have to do something for me. Kill the bear? That part goes without saying. You don't kill the bear, or neither of us get out of here alive. But... Okay, more? Forest talkers, wolves, way out? Phone! I heard a phone ring in an old hunting lodge where I found the extra rifle. Do you know anything about it? Nah, but it makes sense. How so? The old phone lines don't depend on power like the new systems do. It's one of many ways the old infrastructure is better than the one we have now, right? I'm serious, everything's so integrated now, so linked. It's a house of cards. One system fails, they all fail. Any idea where the call could have come from? An old analog system could still work. No telling how the lines are set up. Call should be from anywhere on Great Bear, really. If you know what the line and switches connect to, you could probably figure it out. Where could I find that out? Those old analog lines, but nobody knows they're still hooked up. You need an old phone company line map. No idea where you could find one, though. Must be archived somewhere. I'll keep it in mind. The old ways are the new ways again. That's amazing, but... 
I better get going. Yeah, we better get going. What about my freaking survival score? Oh, we've got a skin 10 kilogram. Place the beer meat in the container at... Uh, place the meat in the container at Jeremiah's cabin. Oh, do we just have to put it in the container outside? Is that what we do? I'm assuming it means this container. Food. Aha, journal mission updated. That's more like it. There we go. Makes perfect sense. That's what we had to do for the, um, for the Grey Mother. I, I miss Grey Mother. Now you're going to tell me something amazing? Story. Survival lessons. Let's talk about some survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Uh, we've done the hunting one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, super interesting. Well, we'll check out the rest of those at the beginning in the next episode. I was wondering if there was going to be a cutscene here to show you guys, but alas, it doesn't appear to be it. Apologies if this um, episode has ran a lot longer than normal, as uh, because I had to kind of go back and to my previous save to get that bedroll back, um, it took me a lot longer. I wasn't able to complete it in one evening like I normally like to do, so I had to return to it the next day, but we managed to do it. We managed to hunt ourselves a deer. We learned a little bit more about shooting. We got a bit of a better aim. We learned more about the phone line as well. Thankfully, it looks like that could still be something that I'll be able to track down. I'm really excited about it, but I'm quite pleased with that. We're going to check out maybe fishing or clothing or something like that tomorrow, and we've got to get to work on getting this guy's trust up. Uh, somewhere in our inventory, it will tell us uh, what we can get out of this guy when we get it, his trust all the way. Let's see here. Knowledge about the Mystery Lake, a cache location, updated on our map. Side mission, old letters. Jeremiah wants you to find and destroy some of his old letters. Aurora observation knowledge. A snow shelter blueprint, unlocks the crafting blueprint for the snow shelter. An improvised hatchet. Carter Dam, world building information about the hydro dam. Blueprint, deer skin pants and deer skin boots. <gasps> oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah, we definitely got to get into that stuff too. Super incredible. I'm going to go ahead and call it here there, guys. Thank you ever so much, as per always, for watching. Always great to see you. Uh, glad you guys are still enjoying The Long Dark. I'm really loving playing through this game. I can't wait to get a little bit more into the storyline of it, find out more about what's going on, but mostly soak up all of the knowledge about everything that we can do in this game so that when it comes to we finally completing Wintermute, which I'm really not looking forward to actually finishing it, I'm having such a blast here, but when we do get that done, we're going to take on some of the challenges and the survival missions. Still lots and lots of content for me to play through on here. If you guys are enjoying it, do me a massive favor and hit the like button. Let me know that you're liking it. Any suggestions and tips and comments, drop them in the comment box down below. But until then, everybody, as always, you guys take care, all the best now, and I can't wait to see you all again soon.